It's Brenda from Paper Tree Creations and I'm here today to show you a fun watercolor technique um, to do an image like that. I've always loved this technique and I have been waiting for Stamping Up to come out with some stamp sets that you can do it with and they finally did. Yay! Uh, the My Meadow stamp set has all these small images that make it really nice to do that. Um, and I'm stamping you, the uh, milk jug from the country home and then I'm using a few stamps from Grace's Garden the, the saying and the kitty cat so to start this technique um, I'm gonna start with the milk jug and I'm gonna ink it up in basic gray and I'm just gonna stamp it there got a little bit too much ink on that onto the side and then you're gonna take your watercolor brush or if you don't have a watercolor brush you can take just a um, regular paintbrush, dip it in water and get it mostly dry. You don't want this real wet. It's kind of, it's called the dry brush technique. And you're just going to pull the color from the um, ink on the sides into the middle. You want to go from obviously the outside to the inside. So you can use either one of these. The watercolor brushes have a tendency to use a little bit more water than I like, um, especially on this part. So I have I like the brush better for for the jug. For the rest of it, the watercolor brush is fine. Now you can also pick up some extra ink from your ink pad for like shaded areas or if you want to bring in just a little bit more color on the edges to give it more of a shaded look you can do that and then maybe even take the watercolor brush to it to get more water to bring that in so you can play with that to what you like It's kind of fun. I like coloring. So there is my my jug. And then I'm going to stamp the green branches here. And to do that, I'm using this stamp from Oh geez, this is from a different stamp set. I'm not sure which one, but I'll list it in the comments below. But I'm only going to be um, inking up part of it. So you want to be careful how you ink that. So ink it up, and then what you're going to do is you're going to stamp three times. You're going to go one, two, three. And then I'm going to clean it off. And then I'm going to ink the other side up. Uh, like so, and again, one, two, three. And that's going to give you some background leaves. You can then just take a little bit of your brush and just go over some of that a little bit to give it a watercolory look. Like so. And then I'm going to take, there's a small, small um, leaf stamp right here. And I'm going to take and stamp that in here. Again, one, two, three. One, two, three. And that gives you some more greenery. And then we're going to stamp some grass. Using always that one, two, three, because that gives you the depth that you need by having the um, different colors. And then I have a small grass that I'm just going to stamp around that. I really like this technique. I think I saw it. Oh, somewhere, 
and I just was like, oh, I wish we had stamps that we could do that with. And now here they are. So I'm excited. Okay, and then you're just gonna wanna just a little bit of watercolor to give it that green hue. You don't wanna put too much because you want still the individual leaves or blades of grass to show. All right, now we get to stamp some fun color in it. And again, like I said, these these are gonna be, oh, by the way, this green was uh, Granny Apple Green. I love Granny Apple Green. It's become one of my favorites. I'm gonna be using the this stamp set to stamp some, some of the flowers in both the Balmy Blue and the Highland Heather. Again, you want the three. And we'll just put some in the grass because we know flowers grow everywhere. And then we're gonna do some balmy blue. I love these two colors together. The Highland Heather and the balmy blue. It just makes it so springy looking. Ooh. Okay, and then you're gonna, again, just, just a little bit of watercoloring in there to, to kind of blend it but not too much because you don't want to you don't want to cover up the um, the detail okay we're going to use this stamp now and do some more blue flowers just here because this is just a nice variety of flowers and we want a nice variety of flowers And then the last one we're gonna do is, <laughs> where is it? This one, I'm not sure it's supposed to be a flower, but I'm using it as one. Kinda looks like a gladiolia to me. And we're gonna do that in purple. I think it's actually supposed to be um, rocks <laughs> for the garden, but hey, we can, we can do whatever we want with our stamps. It's fun to it's fun to have variety. All right. And there you go. Again, just maybe blending a little bit, not too much. Just to give it that watercolor look. And oh, I need to stamp the kitty cat. I have to stamp the kitty cat. Where is the kitty cat? Hmm, did I get the kitty cat out? Oh, there's the kitty cat. I did stamp the kitty cat in black. And then just, kitty cat's a little green there. Just pulled some of the color to make a gray kitty cat with purple flowers on it. <laughs> and there you have it. You just stamp your sentiment and oh, that one didn't come out very well. Let's see if I can line that up. Excuse my head. Yeah, pretty good. I can take a pen and go over that. So that is the card. Each one is a little different. You can see each one is different and don't forget to sign your card because this is a watercolor painting and it is a work of art. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.